here's a wood with lots of trees. One, two, three. What can you see? Yes, it's a house, a house in the trees. Four, five, six. A house of bricks. Seven, eight. It's getting very late. Shall we knock? But wait, the door is opening. What can you see? Nine, ten. I can see a pen. What is the pen drawing? Yes. It's Lizzie, it's Lizzie Witch. And Lizzie looks very busy today. And everyone's very colourful. There's colour exploding everywhere. Hello, Lizzie. You're very busy, Lizzie, today. What are you doing? You're making rainbows in lots of different ways. That sounds really exciting, but it's very tiring. I'm sure it is. You're trying to make rainbows like the ones you saw when you flew to Singapore. They were really beautiful. So, you're painting on silk? That's very pretty. And you're colour mixing using kitchen paper. And you're making colour explosions. But Lizzie, I'm getting really confused. You seem to be doing so many things at once and I can't follow what you're doing. Yes, and you're getting in a bit of a tiz, aren't you? And that's because you are trying to do too many things at once. And if you do too many things at once, you don't do anything properly. So, shall we just look at doing one of your experiments? Oh, sorry, no. They are your magic tricks, aren't they? I must forget that. You think that's a good idea and you'd like to do this one. I think that's a really good idea too. So we're showing the boys and girls how to make three new colours from yellow, red and blue. And those are the primary colours because you can't make those by mixing any other colours. So, Lizzie says we need six tumblers, three with colour in and three empty. Oh yes, we need some white kitchen paper cut into strips. And then we put a piece of kitchen paper between each of the cups. Then you wait a little while and look, the kitchen paper is absorbing the coloured water and it's spreading. Lizzie says you have to wait a couple of hours but then it's like magic. Just look, we have now three new colours. Can you see what they are? Yes, we have green and orange and purple. So we have six colours instead of three. The purple, the green and orange are called secondary colours because you make those by mixing the primary colours. What has made the purple? Yes, that's right. It's red and blue. 
red and blue make purple. Can you see what happens when you mix yellow and red? Yes, yellow and red make orange. And how do we make the green? Yes, that's right, blue and yellow make green. So we have a rainbow of coloured water. And if you put the strips of paper end to end, we have a coloured rainbow of paper. And if you put them side by side, we have a different kind of rainbow, more like the one that you see in the sky. Lizzie says it's just like magic. And it is really, isn't it? Because the paper has absorbed the coloured water and carried it into the empty cups, just like magic. Lizzie says it's really fun mixing colour, but it's important that you do things just one at a time and not try and get in a tiz like she does, doing too many things at once. You have to be well organised. Lizzie says, why don't you try the experiment again? But this time maybe use white string instead of the paper and see what happens. And if you dry the coloured pieces of paper, maybe you can make something out of those too. Lizzie's going to be back soon to show us some more experiments with colour. But until then everybody, it's goodbye from Lizzie Witch and from Jumble House. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and visit the website to find some more stories and some more fun with Lizzie and the other Jumbles. So bye for now everybody. Bye.